Sanchez. Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. In today's episode we're gonna be going to make Easter pool. Since the bridge is already fixed, let's get on with it and go. In last episode, we went to a, a church to see what happens to the bearers or the ones with the mark, the slaves. And apparently they're dying by using their power. Martha's They're becoming the stones. Further south, pushing yet more monsters down with it. Yeah, oh, he's talking. I dare say we'll be seeing a few along the way. Probably. To keep our wits about us. More fighting, yay! So now let's see. Yep. Oh, please no. Please no. I don't want to fight. I don't want to fight. Since you're in the way, or on the way, let's see what Go you there. want. Frederick the Hunter. Excuse me, I'll use that blade of yours. Of course you would. Curse my luck. I branded. No time to haggle with whoever holds your leash. Wait. That's the slumbering chocobo you're wearing. You in the Marfrys, are you? Good. She won't begrudge me the use of you then. Not while there's wolves about. We tried dealing with them ourselves. Made out bait, think we might swoop in and slaughter a lot. But. We didn't expect the park to be quite so bloody big. I expect the blight drove them here. They must have fled their homes for greener pastures. Well, we'd hoped empty bellies might make them easy prey. We've made them mean instead. <laughs> Martha's no fool, so she must see something new. Do us a favor. You know what? Yeah, let's here. do this. I'm on the way. For a thousand gil? Hell yeah. I'll do this. Right. I suppose those walls pose a threat to everyone. Hey, that's what I'm talking about. Especially if they're I'd hungry. Wager, the greedy bastards are still over yonder, finishing off our bait. When you seem to have hmm. last one of them, go and speak to my friend over the bridge. Bryce, his name is. He want to know if it's safe to come across. All right, off you go then. Uh. Uh, okay, here they are. Those are wolves. Oh, starving wolves. All right. Yeah. Ooh. I love that. Jesus. That's, that is. That is OP as hell. That's it. Find this Bryce and let him know the yeah, safe. that's it. Ooh, blue. It, uh, no, uh, uh. Oh, I gotta go around. God damn it. All right, let's get my thousand gil and get on with the east pool. Here he is. Hello. Bexed villager. Bryce? What's it to you, bearer? Your friend asked me to get rid of the wolves. So I got rid of the wolves. Siren wolves. You'd have me believe a single bearer slew the entire pack. Then again, if you didn't, you wouldn't be on this side of the bridge. Oh. Bugger me, you're a tough one, aren't you? <laughs> oh, Frederick. You oily bastard. I never thought to pit beast against beast like that. You served us well, bearer. Be sure to pass our thanks to your master. I am my own master. Thank you very much. Thousand Gill. Oh, that's right. I got the. I got the thing. I hate when they do that. Thank you. Give me your master some nice. Look. And the thanks. The that must be Eastpool. Like, bro. Don't you see me fighting? Don't you see me whooping ass? What is that? Chunks of Warite. I remember coming here with Lord mm. Murdoch when I was young. Those areas seemed a very different place back then. Sweet, sweet home. Kinda. Part of it at least. Eastpool. The Providence of Rosaria. Quiet. Isn't it? Too quiet. 
you. You're Clive Rossfield. It's me, Hannah, Rodney Murdoch's wife. Lady Hannah. Oh, I knew it was you. You haven't changed at all. I still don't know who this is. Marquis and Jill too. It's so good to see you both again. <gasps> it's good to see you too, Lady Hannah. I don't know if she's crying or laughing. If you have time, you simply must come back to the house. I haven't much to offer, but what is mine is yours. We should be delighted. Still don't know who that, who she is. <laughs> Still don't know. And you have been wandering the world ever since. I can well understand fleeing from those iron blood brutes. But oh, to take to the road at such a tender age. The rude. Mm. It uh, wasn't easy, but we survived, and... And now we're back. It's wonderful to see you safe and well, Lady Hannah. What happened to the husband? Do you think you will stay here in Eastpool? Rosaleth still enjoys the Mother Crystal's blessing, does it not? You could always move. This house holds a lot of memories for me. So long as I can live here in peace, here I shall stay. Not that it matters. The capital is closed to civilians by order of the Duchess. Mm. Or should I say, Her Imperial Majesty. Annabella's marriage to the Emperor of Sambrec heralded a great many changes here. Yes. Of course. Oh, forgive me. I... I didn't mean to... Oh. Please. There is nothing to forgive. Would my mother not make an exception for you and your husband? Surely she would not refuse the Lord Commander. He got killed. Yeah. You haven't heard then. Rodney passed away on the night of the fire. He never returned from Phoenix Gate. I... I'm sorry. Clive. My poor child, you look pale. All this traveling must have taken its mm. time. I insist you rest. We can talk later. I like them. Hmm? Too bad he got incinerated. Jeez. That was... I'll tell you, that was horrible. Are you sure you don't want to sleep inside? I can't. Not after what I did. Lady Hannah said she would prepare a change of clothes for you in the morning. She really has been very kind. Thirteen years of killing. Thirteen years without the faintest glimmer of hope. It was.
was only Joshua that kept me going. I swore that I would avenge his death. That I would kill his killer. That was the only thing that gave my life any meaning. But if it was me who killed Joshua and Murdoch and all the others, then why the hell am I still breathing? I ask myself the same. When I fought, hundreds died. There were so many bodies, so many lives cut short in their prime. That day in Dalmechia, I... I wanted to join them. I wanted it all to end. I couldn't bear it anymore. If living meant being that, better to be just another body. I'm sorry. Do you remember that night on the balcony? When we looked up at the moon? I still don't know what that red dot I is. I prayer to Metia and that prayer was answered. Okay, that was cool. You came back to me. The heavens must have a plan for us. <sighs> we should get some rest. Good night, Clive. Sleep well. So are they not sisters and brother? I'm curious now. I'm curious. Ooh, Togo. Hello, good boy. Boy. Thank you. Oh, ooh. Perhaps now people will not flee at the sight of me. You look just like Elwyn did when he was your age. How did you come to have some of my father's old clothes? Oh, that is sick. Before Elwyn became Archduke, our families would often summer together. He and Rodney were like brothers. These clothes have been in a wardrobe for years, collecting cobwebs along with everything else. Well... I'm very grateful for them. And sorry for depriving you of your memories. Not at all. It's what your father would have wanted. They suit you well. They actually do. That. That's actually pretty sick. Thank you, Lady Hannah. Yes, thank you. You've been most kind. No, I should thank you. It may only have been for a short while. But seeing you again took me back to happier times. Fare you well. My lord and lady. And you, Lady Hannah. Invictus Media. If we follow the road to the north, it should take us all the way to Phoenix Gate. Hold on, what the? Invictus Mitchian Cross Mitchian Bonds. Okay. Then what was the point of me crafting stuff? <laughs> like, seriously, what was the point of me crafting stuff? Well met, friend. Same stuff. Same stuff. Okay. Oh, to Phoenix Gate it is. I look 
Oh, this looks badass. He looks like a vampire hun. You? Those are Elwins. Mm. By the flames. You're his firstborn. Clive Rosfield. You're mistaken. Oh, you can't fool me, my lord. You're the very image of your father. And that would be true even if you weren't wearing his clothes. The self-same garments Hannah was keeping for you, if I'm not mistaken. She always swore that she would never part with them until the day Elwyn's sons returned. And now that day has come. <laughs> Why, you'll be able to take your bearers back as well. My bearers. Hmm. The plot thickens. His bearers. Forgive me, Master Mayor. I was a child when last I came to Eastpool. I didn't recognize you. Oh, I'd be surprised if you recognized anything at all. Much has changed since Rosaria fell to the Empire. Not least for the bearers who once served her noble families. When the Iron Blood sacked Rosalith 13 years back, many who lost their masters fled here in search of sanctuary. And never returned. Aye. The plan was to send them home once we'd won back the capital. But then the Imperials arrived. Rosaria became a province of San Brec. The duchy was dissolved, and they no longer had any home to return to. Back in your father's day, any bearer who lost their master became a ward of the duchy. We'd hand them over to the sheriffs, and they'd be assigned a new position. But when we saw how the Empire treated their branded, we knew that wasn't an option. So they've been here ever since. And now you want to give them to me? They're yours by right. Lord Rosfield, bequeathed you by your late father. And they'd be better off serving you than hiding here. Indeed, many of them used to serve your house and still consider the Rosfields their masters. I'm no one's master. Not anymore. They wouldn't be safe with me. I understand. You'll forgive an old man his fanciful notions. Been daydreaming for too long. But still, I would ask a favor of you. A small mercy. If it is within my power. One of the bearers is an elderly fellow who still swears absolute loyalty to Archduke Elwyn. I don't ask that you take him into your service. Only that you meet with him. Let him see that Elwyn's son still lives, and that he's as fine a man as his father ever was. It would be my honor. Thank you, my lord. He sits by the well most days, watching the people go about their business. If you could show him your face, I would be most grateful. I mean, I got no option. You're not so very different, you know. Especially dressed like that. Come on, let's go and meet that bearer. He probably fell down the the well. <laughs> oh, that would have been funny. Hmm. He ain't here. Hello. He's not here. Well, I can't leave without meeting him. I've let the mayor down once already. It would be cruel to disappoint him again. Right, let's ask around. Someone must have seen him. Hello, lady. Well now, unfamiliar faces. What brings you to Eastpool, travelers? We're looking for an elderly bearer. 
You wouldn't happen to have seen him, would you? Ah, you mean the old boy who always waits by the well? Yes, that's him. What, uh, what business do you have with him, if you don't mind me asking? You're not from the capital too, are you? We are, in a way. Well then, it's a pleasure to meet a fellow Rosalithian. I was born and raised down Market Street. I never would have left if Archduke Elwyn had survived the fire. They weren't the same when the Duchess took over, though. All the beatings, the evictions. Yeah, she's a horrible, up up horrible, horrible <sighs> bitch. <clears throat> oh, listen to me, telling you what you already know. I'm sorry. I'm afraid I can't help you with your bearer either, though I doubt he'll have gone far. He comes here every day, almost as if he's waiting for something. We'll keep asking around then. Thank you. Hmm. Is that him? No, nope, never mind. That's Good a young day, boy. Lady. What can I do for you? I'm looking for a bearer, an elderly fellow who used to serve the Rosfields. Have you seen him? Ah, that old loon. No, no sign of him today. Funny, he's usually down by the well at this hour, cooking up his fantasy feasts. I'm sorry? Oh, he worked in the kitchens at Rosalith Castle back in the day. Still thinks he's there now. <laughs> You'll often hear the poor fool chatting away to the Archduke. Living in a dream he is. But better there than here, I suppose. Can't imagine the Vicerine stopping to trade tales with a bearer. Can you? No. Anyway, you'll be round here somewhere. Doubt he has the path to stray too far. Thank you. We'll keep looking. Hey, hold on a mo. Young Patrick, the chocobo keeper, might know where he is. He's taken the old bird under his wing, so to speak. He'll be in the stables. You should go and have a word with him. Patrick, the chocobo keeper. Thank you. We will. Chocobo, chocobo, chocolina. I'm sorry, Jill. For making you do all this in my stead. It can't be helped if we're to keep up the pretense. Come on, let's head for the stables. Chocobos! I love me a chocobo plushie. There he is. Hey, where's the old coot? John Patrick. Where the bloody hell's he got to? Oh, he got lost. Excuse me, but is something the matter? It's this bearer I've been minding. I take my eyes off him for one minute and he disappears. He's not in his usual spot by the well nor anywhere else in the village. Hmm. You must be Patrick. I am, but... And this bearer you're looking for, he's an elderly man who used to work in the Rosalith Castle kitchens, yes? That's the fella. How do you know all this? I've never seen you in Eastpool before, but you seem to know the place better than I do myself. And that's when she tells him she is Lady Jill. All right. Right. Ah, so that's how it is. Well then, if you're acting under orders of the ah. mayor, you're on about to help me find him. He's been losing what little sense he had left of late, saying the sheriffs are coming to collect him and that he needs to go back to the castle. I was supposed to watch over him, keep him out of trouble. But if he's walked out on us, there's not a lot I can do. Understood. You keep searching here, we'll look for him outside. Thank you. I'm in your debt. Oh my god, where could he go on? I hope he hasn't wandered into trouble. Ah. Let's just concentrate on finding him. You know that he's been in trouble. Ooh. Still no sign. Could he have strayed even further? Hmm. Probably. Let's hope he's not too late. 
and hopefully there's no freaking monsters. Who am I kidding? It's a Final Fantasy game. There's always monsters. Everywhere. Even five steps. He's probably sitting on an edge. Right? There he is. Look. There's someone over there. Do not jump. It might be him. We should hurry. Mm. Company. Of course. We can't lead them to the old man. They need to die. Agreed. <laughs> oh, that was the fuck was that? Oh my god, that was weird as hell. Ooh! I didn't mean to do that. But okay. And bye bye. Your turn. Is it? No. Two more. And this is it. Woo! Yes, yes, give me the spoils. Nothing really. Now let's speak to the old man. Are you all right, my friend? Come on. Let's go home. Your grace. You came for me. I waited for you so long, but you finally came. I'm not who you think. Clive. <sighs> Just do it. Yes. Pray forgive my long delay. It's nothing, Your Grace. I prayed to the founder that you would come, and at long last, he answered. Will we be returning to the castle, then? There is still a place for me in the kitchens? No, my friend. We will not be returning to the castle, not yet. I'm on a very important expedition. One which may take some time. Could you... wait for me in Eastpool? Until my journey is complete. I will come back for you then. I promise. Of course, Your Grace. For you, I would gladly wait until my dying day. Please don't do that. <laughs> that would be horrible. Thank you, both of you. You've been most kind. The memory of serving the late Archduke was as one light in the darkness. And now that light burns a little more brightly. It's nothing but a fantasy, of course. But it's better than the truth of the matter. A damn sight better. The blight is on our doorstep. Our harvests are failing. The people are leaving in droves. If it weren't for Lady Hannah selling half her worldly goods to provide for the few of us who stayed behind, we would long since have starved. We want to keep the bearers safe here, we really do. But unless a miracle happens, we won't be able to spare a crust of bread to share between them soon enough. Is it really that bad? So bad. I even petitioned the Imperial Garrison to take them. But when they found out where they'd come from, they damn near spat in our faces. Ducal dogs, they called them. Enemies of the Empire. I know a man named Sid, who would gladly give a home to any bearer in need of one. Leave this with me. As soon as I return from Phoenix Gate, I'll speak with him. Thank you, my lord. Will you be passing through Eastpool on your way back? I should very much like to speak with you again, if you have the time. If I have the time. the future of the village, and what might be done for Lady Hannah. After all, she's done for us. Yes, of course. I'll be back anon. 
Fare you well, my lord, my lady. I wish you a safe journey. Yup. Alright guys, I'm gonna leave it here. After that, we're gonna be going to Phoenix Gate and see what actually the truth is. So without further ado, like and subscribe, yada yada yada. It's your boy, and he's out. Peace.